Tests for Positive Ions by kscience.com Carrying out a flame test involves using a nichrome wire loop and concentrated hydrochloric acid in this evaporating dish. So the nichrome wire loop is dipped into the concentrated hydrochloric acid. This removes any impurities, cleaning the nichrome wire loop. Next, a Bunsen burner is used where the nichrome wire loop is placed inside the blue flame and it is heated to clean the nichrome wire loop. The nichrome wire loop is then dipped into the concentrated hydrochloric acid again. So the nichrome wire loop is dipped in the acid again. Then the nichrome wire loop is dipped in the metal compound being tested, where the nichrome wire loop is then placed inside the hot blue flame. And then someone uses their eyes to judge the color change to identify which metal compound has been tested. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The colour of flames of the metal ions are lithium, Li plus, is crimson, sodium, Na plus, is yellow, potassium, K plus, is lilac, calcium, Ca2 plus, is orange red, copper, Cu2 plus, is green. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. When sodium hydroxide is added to metal cation solutions, either a white precipitate is formed or coloured precipitates are formed, and this depends on the metal cation. So in this test tube where a white precipitate forms, this tells us the metal cation is either Al3+, aluminium, Ca2+, calcium, or Mg2+, magnesium. Here is a word equation a balanced symbol equation and an ionic equation to summarise how aluminium sulphate can react with sodium hydroxide to form sodium sulphate and aluminium hydroxide. Aluminium hydroxide is the white precipitate formed and we know that because of the state symbol S in the balanced symbol equation. Let's now focus on what happens when coloured precipitates are formed. So if a blue precipitate forms, if it's blue, it's Cu2 plus, copper. If a green precipitate forms, so if it's green, then it's Fe2 plus, iron. And if a brown precipitate forms, then the brown is due to Fe3 plus, iron. Here is a word equation, a balanced symbol equation, and an ionic equation to summarize what happens when iron 2 chloride reacts with sodium hydroxide to form sodium chloride and iron hydroxide. Iron hydroxide is the green precipitate that has formed. We know this because of the S which means a solid. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Now, the question is, if we know a white precipitate can be an aluminium ion, a calcium ion, and a magnesium ion, how can we tell the difference if they all form the same coloured precipitate? Well, if a white precipitate forms, then we keep on adding sodium hydroxide solution to the white precipitate, which could be aluminium, calcium, or magnesium. And after adding sodium hydroxide solution, if the solution becomes colourless, this is because the aluminium precipitate has dissolved. So if the solution becomes colourless, we know the ion was an aluminium ion. And if it doesn't become colourless, 
then it could be either magnesium or calcium in that solution. This is because the magnesium and calcium ions do not dissolve when we keep on adding sodium hydroxide solution. To then differentiate between the magnesium and calcium ions, we do a flame test to both. Calcium ions will cause the flame on a Bunsen burner to be orange red and magnesium ions will show no color change in a flame test. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.